Yeah, real life. Yep, can see. I've shared my screen as well. Your screen's just opening. Okay. Um, I will give it another 15 seconds um, and then we can stop. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, Vikas Kumar, um, lead architect, site core architect from Aspire and for Labs, and uh, Surbi Kocher, um, again a certified site core developer uh, from Aspire and for Labs. They've taken the time out today to take you through um, a session on um, XConnect and uh, leveraging XConnect and, and, and uh, uh, building APIs on top of XConnect for your projects. Um, before I hand it over to um, um, Vikas and, and Surbi, just a quick um, uh, um, announcement. Gaurav Singh was supposed to take this, this, um, uh, this, this webinar with you today and introduce uh, the webinar to you today. Uh, I am a colleague of Gaurav Singh for, for, for just for the day, stepping in. Um, any questions, um, please use the chat and we'll try and, you know, take out uh, time towards the end of the webinar to handle those. Over to you, Vikas. Thanks, Colleen. Yeah, thanks for the uh, introduction. Hope uh, we, uh, everybody can see our screen now. Mm. Not sure. Uh, maybe if anybody can comment like what they can see on YouTube, I'll start. Yeah, let me retry sharing, maybe. Angolene, I think whoever is moderating the call uh, needs to select the screen for Vikas so that it's visible over in the screen share. Yeah, I see it now. Hi, thanks, Ruby. Yeah. No problem. I think uh, now uh, it's fine. Okay. So hi everyone. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, today myself, Vikas and uh, Sobi will be giving you context about how we can leverage the new feature in Sitecore 9, the XConnect and custom facets to drive the personalization uh, with the custom application, with custom data coming from different other sources. Give us a sec and yeah, I uh, just to introduce um, myself and uh, so be here. So myself, uh, I'm uh, currently playing a role of techno marketing digital consultant in Aspire, uh, leading the cycle practice. Here in Inspire, total of over 16 years experience. I'm working in all content management systems with 50 plus implementation in content management. Uh, got few certification in site code development, marketing, mostly traveling because of work. And uh, rest, uh, I'm very proud of my team as well. I do have uh, with me very strong site code development team with a lot of certification uh, certified uh, team members. I'll just uh, give a chance for me to introduce herself as well. 
Um, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Surabhi Kochar, and uh, I'm currently working with Aspire in the labs uh, as a technical lead. Uh, I'm part of uh, Vikas's team here, and uh, uh, in I have about six plus years of experience in uh, WCM tools. I have previously worked on SPL Tridian, and I'm currently extremely active on uh, Sidecore. Um, I am certified uh, in Sidecore professional development um, and uh, have been working with Sidecore for the past uh, three to four years now. Yeah, thanks, Subhi. So uh, just to uh, continue, I think just for you know everyone, thanks for your time as well. And uh, we uh, would you know want to urge everybody. We are actually doing this uh, this webinar from the uh, SU uh, Sidecore user group from the NCR, and I've seen in past uh, there were not much uh, you know the participation from the NCR side and. Uh, Gaurav and team has leveraged like few speakers. Is always to have the speakers from around the world. But I think in an NCR uh, region community, we should see like if more and more from um, this region only people you know participate in presenting the webinars as well. So that's why just uh, two quotes for you. I think it's always uh, we feel good, we feel satisfied if we share something with others, and I I think uh, we should always always try to help. Each other, we should not be just look for any reason just to not to help the people. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe let's get back to the our agenda for today. So our agenda is a uh, uh, is all around the X Connect applications and how we can leverage the X Connect and how we can customize the uh, X Connect, how we can leverage that X application. So before you know, we'll talk more about the X Connect uh, customization and the application. Uh, uh, we'll we'll leverage you through like uh, what's personalization. It is a whole word uh, in Sitecore. Everybody is talking more about the personalization, and uh, we see a lot of the out of box functionality within the Sitecore personalization. And Sitecore is great in uh, personalization, but what if you know uh, when whenever we start in any personalization. Uh, and we live, uh, we thought, okay, can we personalize by using this, by using that? And then we saw oh, we don't have that in Sitecore. And Sitecore 9 has come up with a very great API where we can, uh, you know, customize easily to personalize our experience for the end users. So we'll try to set some context. Uh, what's personalization? What's in the Sitecore? And why do we have to actually further customize it or add a functionality into the Sitecore? And uh, then we'll talk more about technical about the X Connect and the X Connect application, the first sets, and how we can identify any contact in site code uh, from uh, custom code. And then we'll take some question answer. This will be like the part one. And in part two, we'll talk more about the uh, some scenarios that we'll be using it. And we'll talk more about how we can create some custom personalization rules using the uh, custom set data. OK, so yeah, just to start with, uh, why personalization? As personalization, you know, I'm in this content management, I think 16, 17 years, since 2004, 5, I'm just doing content management. So we start with just basically building a small uh, website. And we, we we never heard like in uh, word personalized and all those things before 10 years or so. But from last uh, 10 years, it was like it's all about personalization. And nowadays, it's, it's not uh, no longer optional. It's like it's must for delivering the uh, good experience for the customers. Customers are very demanding these days. So you, uh, they want you to understand them, and they want you to serve them better as much. Uh, and for the organizations as well, it helps. And increasing the conversion by giving better customer experience, it increase uh, sales through personalized uh, pages that's uh, created for a user. That we will take one example as well in our uh, in our thing, and it improves the loyalty and the customer retention uh, for the organization. Uh, that helps in uh, product recommendations for the end users. It also helps in effective uh, the marketing for the business and the marketing team as well. 
Sitecore uh, is a great tool for personalization, and uh, we all are working in Sitecore. So we should always uh, try to you know influence our customers or our business as well to use the Sitecore personalization functionality. And it has given a lot of uh, the uh, inbuilt uh, personalization. Uh, and for all, most of the personalization, it uses a tool called the XTB that store all the analytics information about the uh, customer. And we do have the personalization like the inbound. Uh, we'll try, we'll personalize the user based on uh, from where we they are coming. We do personalize the uh, anonymous data based on uh, our, maybe uh, these days we are talking about the Sitecore Cortex, like um, because of our past learning from the anonymous customer. So we could, uh, you know, even try to personalize and we, uh, based on that, or we can get even some insight of the anonymous customer from various third party uh, systems as well. And experience profile, that's, uh, uh, will, will be, should we will be talking more about in subsequent slide. That gives us a lot more insight about the our known customers within our experience database, and uh, we'll be leveraging further to enhance the profiling of the customer by adding some more custom data using the custom facets by their uh, locations from they are coming from, or by some activities they are triggering on to our website, and then we can, uh, you know, further uh, recommend the products for them. So that's something more about the personalization. And in Sitecore, we do have like a two types of personalization mainly, the rules-based personalization and adaptive personalization. Uh, Rule-based is pretty simple. That's uh, you, somebody performs some activity onto the, uh, our website. Then we track the website, uh, the activity, and we try to you know, give the some uh, personalized experience. Some activity could be like somebody just fill a form on our website or purchase something on our website, make a favorite item or any of these activities. And the second, the adaptive personalization where we actually uh, get more about our uh, users or customers coming to our website uh, based on their browsing activity over the past one month, one day or 10 days and uh, the kind of uh, types of pages or uh, titles content they are actually browsing through and uh, then we apply some uh, pattern matches of similar types of users we prepare some personas and uh, profiles for such users but again uh, once we have all these things we again need some rules to personalize based on the activity uh, of the users as well. So we'll be uh, in our this session and the next session, we'll be talking like how you can have more rules, you know, how you can customize uh, to create more rules based on your requirement. So uh, as we see uh, in Sitecore, Sitecore provides a lot of the personalized experience to the users. And we do have feature like the experience profile, Shortly, uh, so we will be going through uh, the experience profile. Sitecore provides the experience editor where we can easily uh, provide the uh, features where, where we can easily uh, personalize the uh, using any part of our page or the full page. And we be Sitecore also provides a lot of the personal uh, out of box personalization rules. First, we see this like what's out of box, then we'll see why, what is missing, and then we'll come to our topic on the X-Connect, like uh, how we can actually further whatever actually is missing from here. So maybe I'll stop, so there will be like a, some blanks. I'll be stop sharing my screen, and then should be, we'll share a little bit about uh, the out of box features over here. So let me stop. Yeah, so be please, yeah, you can share your screen. All right. Uh, thank you, Vikas. Mm, I just wait for my screen to load. All right. Um, so. Uh, 
Mohan Kullin, would you be able to, or Gaurav, would you yeah, be able I to help to, have to switch, the switch the screen? Yeah. It should be your screen is visible, so you can. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just to add to what Vikas has already shared with everybody regarding personalization, um, I think in today's day and time, um, it is um, it is not hidden. Everybody is aware of the power that personalization holds for all um, customer experiences, um, including uh, web experiences that the customer goes through. Um, with Sitecore, you have the ability to capture all sorts of data related to a customer's journey, trying to understand what the user is looking for, what he's interested in, and what should be the ultimate goal. So with all of the data, the vast amount of data that is now captured with the help of XConnect and enabling you to capture it from various data sources, you have a lot of power as a business user in your hand when it comes to Sitecore. You have the ability to personalize your content to extreme levels, guiding your uh, user through your website the way you want them to. So it starts with identifying who your user is and then trying to provide them more targeted content so that they have exactly what they're looking for. Um, to begin with, uh, Sitecore provides us uh, with a lot of tools that enable us to one, analyze uh, the data that has been captured so far, um, and also view what all data and how many contacts and who basically the contact or the visitor that has uh, visited the site is. To begin with, uh, we have the experience profile. Uh, and this application is what allows you to view um, your contacts. So contacts are nothing but identified visitors on your website. Um, and this application basically allows you to drill down more into the entire experience that your user has had while browsing through your website and trying to identify um, who the user is one and exactly what is he after. Um, I'll just quickly try and take you through uh, the UI, which um, I'm sure most of us are already aware of who are currently working in Sitecore. Um, it's more of something that a business user would uh, um, interact with more than a developer, but I think in, in today's time, um, with so much advances that have been made in analytics, it's important even at a developer level to understand the significance of it and incorporate it uh, while we are building the solution for the client. So um, the experience profile application, first of all, lets you view the list of you, the list of contacts that have been identified on your website and then uh, as you click on one of um, your users, you can view more details, details that you have either captured by yourself um, or uh, some or activities that Sitecore implicitly tracks uh, while the user is browsing through the website. So it allows you to have an overview of who your contact is, um, what all activities were performed by that contact, including any goals that were triggered, if any automation campaigns that were triggered for the contact. Um, also, there is a con uh, concept of content profiling, uh, which is, uh, I believe, a very um, extremely significant part of Sitecore Analytics, wherein it allows you to uh, create profiles around your contacts and then create content based on it so that you have more targeted content available. Um, it also enables you to view which profile exactly your contact belongs to or you know matches more with. And along with that, then you also have the details of uh, who the contact is or what's his name or 
you have also the ability of capturing a picture possible um in the source of it can be anywhere it could be a form it could be a login it could be some third party application like salesforce that has captured this data and you are bringing that data from there using a connector um but basically experience profile lets you view the entire journey uh, that the contact has had so far um moving on once we have the contacts now available with us uh we now want to um ensure that whatever content that is being uh, delivered to the contact is uh what it makes more uh, sense for that contact so then we move on to uh, the experience editor application which allows you to uh leverage this part of sitecore analytics make use of the data that you've captured so far and then create uh, versions of your contact uh, i mean create versions of your content uh, letting you show what makes more sense for your contact to give them exactly what they're looking for um I'll just wait for a second for my screen to load so that I can show you exactly how it happens. So meanwhile, I think we all are aware of, aware of the experience editor application. What it enables you to do is to create your pages. Um, you can add components on top of it. Um, there is also uh, the personalization editor, which allows you to add more. Um, scenarios or personalized version of that particular component uh, or that particular piece of your page to uh, come up with more come up with content that that is specific to the user that's browsing your site so it's here that we create um, or make use of the rules either the ones that are provided out of the box by sitecore which is again there are a lot of rules available there's not just one uh, and on top of it you also have the ability to create custom rules um the sound of it i mean it might sound complicated that we're creating com uh, custom rules but uh, having been creating those rules from the past years uh, i think it's one of the most simplest things uh, that you can take up while customizing your experiences in sitecore so um what i'm going to do is uh, to take you through um the rules that have that we right now have set up for our demo for one of the components uh, on our pages um so on the experience editor once you click on the component uh, you get a pop up for the personalization editor and you have all of these options where you can um set all the rules there can be multiple rules um uh and with sitecore analytics and tracking you also uh, have statistics available to uh analyze how well the rule is performing so what is the reach of that rule how um frequently is that particular rule displaying the content to the users on your website um so if you see here um each row on this um window takes you through the different uh, rules that you can um, provide on the right hand side you have the ability to either show hide or maybe add another content instead of the one that's by default there um and when i click on edit rule it gives me this plethora of rules that are provided already by sitecore um based on the date device uh visits of the user who the user is um if i have captured any custom data which we will be covering on later on um based on that custom data what exactly do i want to show so basically i'm trying to analyze the intent of my user and showing him exactly what he is looking for so that he doesn't have to really go through uh the website looking for content uh and also guiding him through the website having the power in my hands to take my user through a journey that i want him to uh take on my website 
So yeah, and um, just to add, so personalization, I know can it's it's a it's a big task. It's a very important task as well. So it's always wise to start from a smaller level. So maybe beginning with a rule based implementation, then moving on to uh, the activities that the user is performing. And then maybe once it's uh, more stable, then moving on to more personalized content like custom places and then providing um, custom um, content to them as well. Um, yeah, so I'll let Vikas okay. take you through the journey forward. Okay, so as you can see now, Surbi has uh, given a good insight of, of what we have in Sitecore. But what we have seen so far, Sitecore provides us like how we can capture all the user profiles. Sitecore provides uh, the personalized rules at editor. And Sitecore provides a lot of rules. But Sitecore if you believe like it's built for the generalized, not built for any specific use case or any specific uh, domain or industry, like you won't find rules. Or let's say a, take an example of an insurance. You will find a rule, okay, uh, based on of some policy or based on some of the activity to be that related to insurance. Or let's take an example of like the education. It will not give provide the rules for the student course if the student belongs to that course or that course. So the side course is a generalized content management tool. So to add those capability, that's where the our the development community you to uh, has to actually support the business to add those uh, things within the side code. And that's what probably will be seen now. Like how easy is just to uh, do all these things in Sitecore using NextConnect and all. So I'll maybe Gaurav and Kulin, if you can switch to my screen, that. Uh, yeah, because your screen is visible. Okay. So uh, as you see, Sitecore has a lot of functionality, but. It's missing the domain, it's missing the your industry, it's missing actually the work basically what is required. So to overcome that, that's uh, that's where we need some sort of the development activity or some sort of the customization. So it's not fulfilling your 100%, but it's fulfilling like, but it's giving you uh, how you can fulfill your full personalization based on any uh, data. And if you have attended like one of my earlier session in uh, Sukhon NCR and where I was talking about the individualization with personalization, where we focus more on to the data side, these days generalized personalization is not working at all. We do have to focus on an individual customer or individual person. To focus on the individual person, we need a data about that person only. It's not uh, like, okay, anybody coming from this city or anybody coming from that region that may or may not work in most of the condition but if you really want to give the full personalization you do have to understand actually your each customer so that's for that you need a lot of data so sitecore as in uh, sitecore platform foundation that provides us uh, services like the xconnect and the xp services xp services are most of like same as was in Sitecore 8. In Sitecore 9, what new comes is the XConnect. XConnect is a new uh, service that uh, help us in uh, uh, the Sitecore uh, that helps in collection, search, search indexer, and collection database, uh, where uh, it, maybe let's, uh, I'll jump in. So uh, XConnect. It's it's an independent service layer that sits between the uh, our XDB to any of the interfaces. Even uh, Sitecore, it it based on the OData protocol. It connects uh, XDB to any trusted client device or interface, and uh, so it doesn't have to be Sitecore. It's very easy to because it's now available as an um, OData service, so it can be used anywhere works HTTPS only, it's a very important thing is the client certificate that uh, we'll be talking more about that uh, later, that is required to access the application. 
and uh, totally you can host this service anywhere if there's no dependency on the sidecore kernel is independent of the sidecore kernel earlier up to eight we were having the uh, all the xdb related functionality was built natively within the sidecore so you do has to run those with the sidecore kernel uh, Sitecore also uses the XConnect for tracking and analytics data. The Sitecore tracker that captures all the, your uh, data, at the end, it uses the XConnect to move that data to the XDB. So it's a, it's a very important layer in Sitecore these days to connect our uh, Sitecore applications or any customer solutions that uh, we'll be talking more about uh, today now. Right, so as you see in the experience profile, you see some uh, personal data and uh, all personal data in XTB is stored in terms of the facets. Uh, so facet is nothing, just a piece of information that uh, actually enrich or that provides information about a contact or the interactions. So we do have the uh, value facets. Uh, value facets is just uh, content about any contact or the interaction. Uh, within the uh, Sitecore or some calculated facets uh, that gives some uh, the uh, based on our history that uh, provides the information. So today we'll be talking more about the uh, contact facets. We'll taking the example of the contact facet, how we can you know enrich the Sitecore experience database with custom data uh, specific to your need and how we can leverage that data to provide the uh, personalized experience. Right, so uh, I'll just walk you through uh, with the basic concept, then I hand over to the uh, Solby again, uh, so that will not switch over um, again and again. So uh, basically, for uh, adding any new data, like uh, I'm taking an example of here, like the school, college, or university where we have the students at uh, Sitecore is general. So for for students, what's important is uh, like. Uh, uh, or their course or from which country this is universities or colleges they are seeking the students from uh, different countries so they want to personalize the uh, new prospect students based on their courses or based on their country they are applying or looking for admission into the there so we do have we can simply can create a, a class in psycho uh, inherited from the presets uh, and uh, you can add your custom data into it. Because for Sitecore, XConnect is the layer to handle any uh, any data. You do have to actually move that model into the XConnect. So to do that, uh, you have to serialize that model class into a JSON file that you need to copy to the XConnect uh, service. That so we will take you through uh, these things like how and where. And then we have like the uh, custom XConnect API application that we are using. I'm just giving you context here. Let's suppose like uh, a university, let's say in uh, somewhere in one country has like uh, 10 offices around the world from where uh, they are uh, you, you know, getting their uh, student enrollment information or uh, student prospect information. They have hired maybe some third party agencies they have the Sitecore in website. So those agencies around the world are not connected to the Sitecore or they have their some sales office or their education offices uh, into different cities where, where they are not directly connected to Sitecore. So for, for that, uh, but still, if somebody has visited those centers and again visiting the website, they have provided some, some information to those centers and definitely, if they are visiting again the university or the college website, we want to personalize based on the information that they have provided actually in those centers. So what we have done here, we have built in like a custom XConnect application uh, that actually move the uh, information from different uh, centers to the uh, university XTB database, and then we can you know further personalize. So for build that application. Uh, definitely, as we uh, you know discussed earlier, certificate is very important for any client application using XConnect. 
you do have to provide the certificate thumbprint. Uh, we'll walk you through the code of that. Uh, you do have to provide some configuration to connect to the API. You need uh, to load the facet. Uh, now we have the two facets, like the existing facet, where so we provided you the experience profile where you see some personal details so that stored in some personal facet and there are many other existing facets. And here we have added one more facet for specific to the our need. That's the student course and the country that they coming from. And we'll check if that information is already exists in our XDB. If it exists, we will update. If not, we'll add and then we'll verify the information into the uh, site core uh, database. We'll, uh, so we will walk you through where you can verify whether you are able to capture this custom application data into the site core as well and into the experience uh, profile. You can uh, see that data over there. The demo that we'll be doing uh, in the next session, but we'll walk you through the code into uh, this only. Then, you know, we capture the information from the different centers, but still uh, we need to identify the user that is actually has visited our center onto our website. So for that, uh, we can simply uh, you know uh, build a pipeline in Sitecode. We can uh, customize the code, and uh, we have you can use this uh, process pipeline, and we have built a, like a method where uh, we have asked like uh, the ID that the generated locally at the uh, at the contact centers will be used as an identifier. Over there, the uh, Sitecore provides the functionality where you can identify with different different things like the email or uh, those things. So uh, what we have in like those centers might have provided like the ID. So they provided an ID as a query string, let's say uh, there. So we have simply get the ID and there is a method, a very a simple one line code, uh, tracker dot current dot session dot identify as where we'll provide the source and the ID based on which you know we are actually uh, try to identify user. And once we identify the user, then we can you know personalize the whole uh, uh, content for the website. So maybe now I will hand over to Subi to walk you through the code of these uh, custom facets and the applications uh, there uh, to give you more insight about that. So. You should be, you can share your screen now. Uh, thank you, Vikas. I'll quickly share my screen so that we have. Just give us a moment so that, uh, and Gaurav or Berlin, uh, maybe you can switch uh, back to. Yes, because uh, now so we can present, which I can see the screen. So just a time check also, we are 40 minutes into the session and we have another 20 minutes. Sure, I, I think uh, 20 minutes is enough. Probably. Thank you. Uh, all right, so um, thank you, Vikas, for giving uh, uh, an insight into what we've been creating so far. So um, for our demo example, uh, we again took up the example of a university having multiple centers, trying to capture data of uh, people who visited those centers, and then trying to provide them a more personalized experience, uh, letting them know that they are known once they visit our website. Um, so the aim uh, that uh, we have in our mind is to um, ensure people that you know, to let people know who are developing applications in Sitecore that creating custom applications with the help of XConnect is uh, not anything that's very difficult. It's very, um, it's it's very simple, very out of the box. Um, I would especially like to um, uh, commend Sitecore for the documentation, very detailed documentation that has been provided with um, a lot of uh, code examples that help you to build these applications and incorporate all of these customizations into your Sitecore applications. So um, uh, 
it did not take us um, a lot of effort or a lot of digging into to understand exactly uh, how to create it as long as you understand the flow of things and you have the solution envisioned in your mind uh, it is it becomes much easier to build these applications so uh, to begin with um, we wanted to first of all capture custom data so as vikas mentioned we wanted to capture um, the course that a particular student is interested in and also the country where the student registered from so in order to capture that since uh, we do not have uh, the ability to have this um, added in the out of the box facets available with sitecore which are more towards you know personal information related to uh, that user we decided to come up with a custom facet of our own um, creating a site code model on top of it um, and then you know um, using it to again create personalization rules uh, onto our website to identify that contact and then you know um, providing a more uh, personal individual content for that user um so to begin with uh, in this application as you see uh, what we are trying to do here is that we've exported uh, the list of users uh, or visitors um, that we've had at those centers in a csv file uh, and we created a simple api application what which uh, basically lets you the console application uh, allows you to um, load a csv file and uh, have contact information saved into it um, in comma separated values and basically taking that information and storing it in a custom facet so we created uh, a custom facet student info um, in which we want to capture the courses and uh, the country that the user belongs to um, exporting that data from the csv file um, we then have the approach of configuring xconnect in our application um, ensuring that we are also giving the custom model that we created in the previous step um, to xconnect uh, so that it can load the right data while getting the contact from the database. Um, once we load the CSV file, we start exporting that data into XDB. Uh, how it starts is to first uh, take the unique identifier. Also with uh, now Sitecore 9 and XConnect, you have the ability to have multiple identifiers associated with one of the contacts that also lets you, you know, um, capture information from uh, different sources and also enables you to know that you know where all have I identified this contact from uh, throughout the course. Um, based on it, uh, in our in our application, we already have a UID, which is a unique ID for all the contacts. Um, we begin with identifying the contact, taking that unique identifier, trying to look through our XConnect, uh, our XDB, trying to see if we already have that contact. If we do, if it's an existing contact, we basically add on to uh, the, we update the contact if we have new data available for it. And then in case if it's a new contact, we go ahead and we create a new contact and um, um, add the data that we've captured to that contact then. So once uh, this is done, um, you should immediately, after this application runs, you should be immediately be able to see all the contacts that you've created in the experience profile. Um, see that those uh, contacts are loading and also see the data that you've captured so far. Uh, you might not be able to see customized data that you've captured immediately in the experience profile, but because that requires more steps to be carried out to have the data uh, made visible on it. Uh, but then again, that's something that we can take up later. Uh, but it, once this application runs, we were immediately able to see our contacts loading in uh, the experience profile in Sitecore. So this shows the power of XConnect that it's taking data from one source and letting you have an integrated view of everything in one place, which is uh, the experience profile or Sitecore's experience analytics. 
uh, once this part is done, the next step is actually to uh, utilize uh, the contacts that you've created and the custom data that you've captured into your Sitecore application. Um, Vikas, um, if you could please uh, share your screen for a moment. My screen is shared now, so. So, uh, Gaurav, can you search? Hi, because the control is back with you. Uh, thank you, Guli. Um, because if you could take us to the snippets of the code that we have uh, relating to contact identification. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, thanks. So um, once you're back to the site code application, um, we wanted to, since we did not have a login functionality in our uh, demo scenario, we wanted to capture the contacts identification through query string. And that's what we did uh, into the site code pipeline. Um, we added one of our processor, would basically who, which basically utilizes this query string parameter and tries to identify the contact using it. Um, this happens uh, when the page directly loads. So that's how we mapped um, the processor. That's how it happens when the contact's visiting. Once the page loads, it checks for the query string and then tries to identify the contact. Mm -hmm. Additionally, um, you also need to let um, uh, Sitecore in, in configurations know what model you want Sitecore to load additionally on top of the default model that's been loaded, and also the facets that you want it to load uh, while you're tracking your contact. So once the contact has been identified out of all of the data that has been captured for that contact, I might not be you know, utilizing all of it in my application. I might just be utilizing maybe three or four facets. So since there's a lot of data involved, you always want it to be um, as optimized as possible so that you're loading exactly what you need and not loading too much because that would always help you with the performance of your pages. So maybe uh, like in the next session, because we can, um, once we focus on the personalization rules, we can focus on um, that also. Yes. And yeah, so this is till the time we identify. And in the next session, we take you through more details how of how we start to utilize these custom facets to provide a more personalized experience to our visitors. Yes, definitely. Uh, in a sec, uh, that's a very important point. And uh, we do struggle for a few days for that uh, configuration. We were not able to get the value out of our custom facets. So that configuration is very, very important uh, uh, to have. Do we do have to provide the site core like what facet we want to load when we are actually getting the value out of the facet so probably in uh, in next and you will talking about that how we will uh, kept, uh, get the data out of the custom facets or the normal facets to use or to create our uh, personalized uh, uh, custom rules uh, based on uh, as you might have seen while when Sulbi was talking more about the personalized rule, you might have seen there was some rule if a course is like this, you, you will not get those rules into your, uh, maybe in, in your, if you don't have the custom rules. So we'll, next session, uh, we'll talk about these. So I think that was the agenda for our, this uh, uh, session. Uh, I maybe uh, uh, you know if you can help us if anybody has any questions and in the meantime we will have like uh, i'll just go you through the agenda for the next part uh, part two next week so uh, next will uh, next week we'll be taking you through how we can you know build the custom personalization rules using the personal data that we capture into the uh, into our custom facets and uh, what should be the uh, best approach and the best practice. We'll be walking through the code 
and uh, we'll also be giving the online demo of uh, importing the data from uh, xconnect and custom facet and the personalization rules based on this query string so maybe to help us to perform the uh, that we you know also uh, you know it would be good if you guys can also help us in giving some of uh, the data we have actually created a simple form on uh, google forms just fill four or five information each of uh, one of you and then next we'll see based on the information we'll give you one url and you all would be able to see like a different uh, page experience based on the data we captured about you it's just a, a uh, simple uh, uh, very form so i'll just give the uh, link of the form into the comment as well not for uh, maybe this for until next time we'll see and we'll import that data into the custom facet your uh, data into the custom facet so gurleen and uh, hi vikas yes <clears throat> So what I've done is while you were uh, you were wrapping up and, and giving us a view on uh, what the agenda for the next session is going to look like, I have um, added the, the link to your forms um, as part of the um, the comments in the chat. Right? We don't seem to have too many questions, um, uh, but uh, so what we'll do is um, we we'll thank the audience, thank you guys, um, Vikas and Subhi, both of you. And um, hopefully next week, um, um, you know, Gaurav and Nitish will be back and the team will be back. So we'll have a less glitch-free sort of uh, uh, webinar session. Yeah, Thank definitely. you everyone for joining. Yeah, and we got just uh, one suggestion, like to upload the uh, our, this custom code into the uh, uh, GitHub or definitely uh, you will see it in uh, before next session. We'll have that code ready for you on uh, so that you can download and you can run through that application yourself as well. No problem at all. Thank you. On behalf of everyone, I, uh, we can we can thank you for that. Thanks for for the contribution. Um, I guess we wrap up with that. Thank you. Yes. No, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Yeah, have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.